because each one of us comes into this world with certain divine elements inside of us, a certain packaging, a certain computer key punch card. So we all are given a lot of different experiences in life. Some we call good, some we call bad. We should all call them experience. So that when someone else comes to us and they've had that experience, we understand. And we enter into understanding with them. And we accept what they say because it's happened to us. You understand what I'm saying? There is, there is these times, but these are the wisdoms. And you may say, well, John Roger, this situation was happening. I didn't know how to handle it. And I didn't know what to do, and this happened. It's all over. What? I say, that was karma. The inability to do anything with it was the karma. Should I tell you the most severe karma I can think of? It's the karma where you work hard all your life, long hours, to get ahead, and you never get ahead. Your karma is not to get ahead. It's just to work long hours. <laughs> And somebody else is always getting the results of your work, right? Makes sense. But if that's our karma, hey, and believe me, for some of us it is, then why not discipline ourselves to it? Correct our attitude and say, at least I know what it is. I don't have to worry about being president <laughs> or anything else. I just got to worry about going to work and doing it. And, and they yell at me, but they won't fire me because who else could they get such a good worker at such low pay? And I have no ambition to get ahead, to take anybody else's job. Everybody should love me and feel secure around me. But that's not true. They'll think, what are they up to? <laughs> I don't know how you're going to handle that one, folks. Some things are left to guessing, and that's a guess one. I don't know. Of course, I would probably handle it by saying, you don't know, do you, what I'm up to? And smile and walk away. I'll keep them busy for a week. <coughs> Whatever you decide to do, place it in God's will, in God's hands. Ask God. And then do it as though God has said, it's yours, it's blessed. Do it so willingly and lovingly and so completely that anyone coming behind you will say, wow, yours was perfect. Beirush Beisham.